I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them Hey YouTube, welcome to episode 9 of my Hogwarts Legacy playthrough We've basically just been doing some quests and continuing on with the story as we go And that's about it, so let's get back to it talk to her hello natty how are you i am well thank you i was there and i saw what happened with rookwood and harlow at the three broomsticks i have been worried about you i'm all right at the moment if you don't mind my asking why were they looking for you they want something that professor fig and i found <coughs> at Gringotts. when were you at Gringotts? just before we came to hogwarts in fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning. I'm special. I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you <coughs> inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of Excuse me. Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach <coughs> out when I know more. In the meantime, <coughs> I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. <laughs> Be on your guard. I came all the way here to Handy talk to you. Indeed, and that's all you gave me? You What's going on here? What is this? This way, think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. <laughs> I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood, would fancy like top hat. You? A student, you can't be <laughs> enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid. This is a fast way to get yourself killed. Do you know that? Really enjoying the view. I'd like to be put down. Pop. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Perhaps some nice flag. We can help them up. I'm not going anywhere. You'll take this, students! No worry, call me himself. You made a great mistake. Huh. 
What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in I no work small on my defense. part to your excellent defensive skills. <gasps> Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen <coughs> on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Hmm. You're related to Laquan Treadwell? One of the worst draft picks made by the Vikings? I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth. <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. Okay. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. <coughs> Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Oh. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio! Well, the flames make the pyre sink. What a day! I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them if you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. 
Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Okay. So we can go do that one quick. A portrait <coughs> in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. Okay. Wonder who lives here. What do you have in store for me this time? Incendio. Huh. So did I complete that one? No. Oh, there's more. There we are. Gotcha. So that means we go to here, collect, no not collections, but we got something in here. A couple of different enemies. Go to challenges. Exploration. Claim rewards. <coughs> Neat. It's like a place right out of a Cretago. I know there's fast travel and everything, but I like running and exploring. <laughs> do 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 do. Once I get my broom and everything, I'll start doing all the Merlin trials. Why is it making me go this way? I just said that I don't like to, but long ass ways to go. You wanted to see me, sir. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. 
So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former minister for magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself will be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. This could be right <coughs> up my street. <coughs> Even though Hufflepuffs enjoy good mystery. So here you are up to the challenge. Plus, I believe you'll benefit from this undertaking. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. Yeah. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. He's a long ass ways away. So we'll go to Hogsmeade. Travel to there. We'll run the rest of the way. Hogsmeade, here I come. A lot of running. Ah, wouldn't mind a plum job at Gringotts. Suit me sitting around all day. Mind you, I suppose it could get a bit boring. Love you, Accio. Incendio. Protego. I won't rest until you're dead. Van Rock has fooled you all to your demise. Revelio. There ain't shit over here. Whatever. Whatever. You ought to cut back on pudding. Mistook you for a troll the other day. Send 
Ага. Oh, there's something over here. Killing the goblins as I go. Creepy. Oh. <coughs> this must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorized by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. I can use some gold. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. A tower spire. This looks intriguing. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Baldov dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply <coughs> my wit's end. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. It seems as though things are getting worse. Bardo <coughs> should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Oh wait, I wanna do the quest that I am supposed to be doing. Mr. Thistlewood. Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. <laughs> Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. <coughs> he sent me to speak to you. <coughs> I'm pleased you came. Uncle <coughs> believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his oh. headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, mm. I think. That sounds terrible. But I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. 
At least, that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. Oh. If you, a student with a connection to the pages like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. What a horrible story. If you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Well, thank you. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. <clears throat> We'll be there in but a moment. Cool. Or to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. This isn't a place for loitering. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such yeah, monsters. She's been here a lot longer than the rest of us. If I had my watch, I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you! Oh. You don't scare me, young cur. I teach you so little of what you should know of. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. Who's there? Why torment me, father? No one at school is going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. <coughs> patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave? She's got bars. Near Upper Hogsfield. Hogs, hogs, fields, fields, ruins, house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen, Helen, know you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. What is it, Anne? Oh. 
What the fuck? This shit was crazy. Your heart. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I can. <coughs> But, Madam Thistlewood, I... All right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. Well, we are going to end that episode there. So if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, that would be awesome. And I hope you have a great day. Peace.